Hi my loves, it's Dee here from Golden Thread Tarot and I am here to bring you another channeled message. I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance. Okay, so <clears throat> I have a message that Spirit really shared with me and I feel really inspired to share it with you guys, okay? That I needed to learn how to change the definition of how I was seeing divine time and how uh, I was receiving a message that spirit was giving me. And this is not going to be for everybody, but um, I feel like if you are a type of person who is struggling with hearing people or hearing spirit tell you it's not divine time yet, it's not, you know, you're not ready for your counterpart or you're not ready for this relationship you keep asking about to come in yet. And you're feeling very frustrated by this. You know, you're frustrated by hearing that and you're, you know, it's making you feel more low than it is helping you to accept and love. And that in the end, you end up putting, you know, it keeps you in a cycle of, okay, well, there's more to heal or there's more to do or, okay, that's okay. Divine time. I should learn to accept it. I should learn to accept it. Like a message that, you know, and struggle with accepting that and then struggle with thinking that you're not good enough or struggle with thinking, uh, why am I not getting the right message? Or why am I being so frustrated? Why can't I just accept that? Why is it, you know, something that I had never really thought of and this is probably my trauma and my things that I'm trying to heal, my shadow energy um, showing itself here. Um, and when I would hear people say, you know, it's not divine time yet, you're not ready to meet your divine counterpart, or you're not ready to meet this person yet, I would get really frustrated. Like, I would try to kind of not like lie to myself, but try to convince myself that it's okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's right. God doesn't make mistakes. You know, it's time. I know that this person, you know, but in my mind, when I was hearing people say that, or when I was receiving that message, I was getting the message that I'm not healed enough, that there's more stuff I need to work on, that, you know, I am not accepting or loving of myself enough and the truth is that spirit, that one of my spirit guides finally, like I released enough and I purged enough for my spirit guide to come in and finally receive this message. And I had a spirit guide, you know, I was really, I was kind of actually, just to be honest, I was, cause the full moon energy has really had me like really purging and letting go. And I was in the shower earlier and I was crying and I was just really being upset about it because I'm trying to learn how to allow myself to be upset for, a mo you know, for moments about it, or if it feels like to honor and to hold space for myself to be upset about it, because it allows me to really, the more I, I cry about it, and then I start thinking about it, and then I reflect on it, and it brings up deeper thoughts, you know, so instead of saying, no, you shouldn't cry, you should be okay, you should, you know, it's divine time, it's what's up, and kind of actually kind of shaming myself about it, if I'm being honest with myself, you know, I had cried and purged enough earlier today to finally have a spirit guide come in and tell me, you know, and to really receive this message in my heart. And my spirit guides were saying, we've been trying to try to get you to see this point for a while, but the trauma and the pain and everything has kind of been blocking it out. And the spirit guide said, when you hear it's not divine time for you and your person to come together yet. It's not about, because that was a thing. Like, I heard that message and I was just, I was like, I'm sick and tired of hearing the spirit. Like, I'm good enough. You know, I want to feel like I'm good enough. Why do I keep feeling? I'm not a constant project that I constantly need to work on. I can't constantly be burning myself out, doing shadow work, doing all of this, constantly thinking, I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal. Trigger, 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 trigger. You know, people are triggering me. People are, I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal. Because I'm manifesting in people triggering me. And I cried and I, had, I just had like a moment where I was just like, I would really enjoy just being able to go out or have this and not have somebody say something or do something that's clearly meant to trigger something to heal inside of me. And spirit, you know, came to me and delivered this message into my heart and was like, when we say you're not ready or it's not divine time yet for you and this person to come together, it's not about the fact that we think that you're not healed enough. It's not about the fact that we think that, you know, you're, there's still more work you need to do on yourself. 
you know, it's more along the lines of where you are right now and what you tell us you're ready for is not what's going to happen with you and this divine counterpart or this and your soulmate or this, you know, future spouse that you, that you're trying to manifest in. You say, when you say, okay, I want a partner and I want us to be doing these things and these things and these things and these things. Well, that's not what you and your divine counterpart are going to do. And I was like, what? And they were like, don't get it twisted. You are going to have a loving, happy life with this person, you know? But there are specific things that this person coming in is going to trigger, that you're going to work on. There are projects. There are certain things that you are going to do. There are certain things that are going to happen when this person comes into your life. And you are telling us that you're that not not by the way you're acting, but you what you are saying you want in a relationship right now is not what's going to happen between you and this person. The things and the activities that you say you want to do. You're not necessarily going to do those things with this person, which is why it's not 616 down on the clock when I said that, which is why it's not divine time for you to be with this person because you and this person have a very, not very strict, but you have like certain events that are planned to happen in your life and you are not ready. You tell said yourself that you are not ready for those events to happen yet in your life. So why are you asking for a person that's going to come in before you're ready for the events that are going to happen with this person to happen. We're not going to allow that to happen. You know, when you say that you want to spend time doing this and doing that and doing that, well, when your counterpart comes in, you will have already spent that time doing that. And if you want your counterpart to come in right now, then you're going to skip over doing those certain activities or doing those certain things. And spirit was saying, when we say it's not divine time for that to come in yet, what we're saying is this person and what you're saying you want don't align right now. What you want to be doing and what you're going to be doing in that relationship are not the same thing, which is why it's not divine time because you are the creator of your own reality. So the things you say you want to work on, the things you say that you want to have, the things that you say that you want to do, the places that you want to go, the things that you want to do right now that you are telling us you, you want somebody in your life that's going to do this, 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 this. Your divine counterpart is not going to do those things. Like your future spouse is not going to do those things. You know, it is not... I hesitate to use the word as strong as like destiny, but it's like, if you want to do those things because your soul is telling you it's time to do those things, then let us send you the person or let us send you the events. Let us send you the experience that's actually going to give that to you because you are actually creating your own resistance to what you want by saying, I want this and I want that. And they're two opposite things that are clashing. And you might not realize that you might not realize. And, and like I said, that does not mean that you won't that you won't um, be traveling or that you won't be accomplishing certain things with your divine counterpart. You will. But spirit said, trust us, we know. And you are really asking for two very opposite things. You're asking for two very opposite energies right now. Your counterpart, even though when they come in, they will be exactly what you need for when they come in. But the energy that you're saying that you want right now is not the energy of your divine counterpart or is not the energy that your divine counterpart is in right now. Your divine counterpart is in a different energy right now. So if you allow us, we will send in the person or the experience or the friend group or whatever it is that will actually give you the experience that you're asking for. And I was kind of just like, what? And I, 
And to think about it, it's like, yeah, of course, you know, all of those lessons I believe in and I know I'm the creator of my reality. I, you know, divine timing means that things come in when they're really supposed to. But my trauma brain or the things that I have been processing at the time and the things I'm still kind of processing right now had been, had gotten so used to being denied things because I had the perception that I was being denied those things because I was not worthy of them. And my spirit guides are like, no, you're completely worthy to have your divine counterpart. Of course you are. It is not about the fact that you haven't healed enough. It's not about the fact that you, there's just some experiences that you need to have right now and you can't have them with your divine counterpart being by your side right now. You need to experience those things without your divine counterpart because there are things or without your forever you know, husband or your wife or your forever partner or whatever you want to call them, right? That if you want to do certain things, you're going to either need to do those things right now, learn to do them by yourself or allow us to send the people into your life that are going to allow you to have those experiences because you have set up a different experience for you between you and your person that will be exactly what you need when that person comes in. But it's not what you need right now. So please see that divine time means we want to give you what you're asking for, not we'll give it to you when you're worthy of it. It was 11.44 down on the clock. Some of y'all need to hear that again. So I'm going to say it again. Divine timing, okay, is not about being worthy of the things, being healed enough, being experienced enough, being ready in the sense that I'm not good enough. No, no, no. Hey, get out of my purse. Oh, sorry, my cat is like sticking his head down in my purse. So random. Um, it's about, hey, babies. No, ma'am. It is about you understanding that spirit is trying so hard to give you what you want, what you really actually want right now. And it kind of triggered me a little bit because I was like, what do you mean? Like, is my counterpart not going to be loving and trusting? And of course, of course they are. But there are experiences that you are asking us to have. And you're not going to experience those things the way you want to experience them right now with your divine counterpart. And in a way that you're doing this, you're self-sabotaging yourself. You're self-sabotaging yourself with saying, I demand to have my counterpart right now, but also I want to have all these experiences and it's, and I'm asking for all these experiences that I'm not destined to have with my counterpart. And it's like, which one do you want? Do you want what's best for you or do you want what you want and you want it now? And this was about the fact that I was keeping myself trapped in this mindset of thinking it's not coming in because I'm not worthy of it, because I'm not working hard enough for it, because I haven't earned it. And that's just not true. Spirit is just asking me to please drop this resistance to having it into understanding that what I want right now might look different than my expectations of what it was going to look like or what it was going to feel like or who I was going to have that experience with. And there's something here about you believing in the fact that you were only destined to have certain experiences with one person. Or it's like, oh, well, surely I want to have these experiences and surely it's my partner. It's my forever partner. It's my future husband. It's my divine counterpart that I want to have those experiences with. When maybe you're actually asking what you actually, which would, what would rather serve you, what would serve your best and highest good right now is to have those experiences with friends or with family or you know, with yourself. 
because what you think is the best and what spirit knows is the best for you can be two very different things. And spirit is saying there is a potential here, okay, to have much more than you expected in, di in much different ways than you expected, but you have to allow it. <sighs> oh, sorry, excuse me, guys. This... This Three of Cups is very the opposite of the energy that I just had. Hey, I'm getting so many downloads. My spirit, my, my spirit guys are like, breathe, breathe. You need oxygen. <laughs> spirit says that you are fighting, that your spirit guides have been trying to fight to ground this reality into you to kind of be like not 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 or they show me like a spirit guy like literally knocking on your crown truck and being like get it in your head it's not about that it's about this that's not what we're saying you under you're understand you're misunderstanding what we're saying please please you know, and they're saying that they understand because it is, they understand because it is your trauma, it is your shadow, it is your ego, it is those things that are blinding you to the truth, to, to the truth of what the reality that you are seeing really, really is, that they're like a, a veil. It's a, it's a veil. It's your own internal perspective that spirit is, I don't want to say struggling, but they are attempting to get you to see through, Right. We can't ever see things in perfect, perfect outside of our own self. You know, we can only experience things through our perspective, you know, most of the time, you know, the majority of the time we are really struggling to see things through our own brains, to filter things through spirit can only, can only, excuse me, because the messages that spirit has for us has to filter down to us has to lower in vibration to get to us has to you know has to pass through our auric field pass through our aura pass through our mind pass through our shock our you know our crown and internal chakras be absorbed into our brain and then our brain our spirit brain our like our star crown chakra has to filter it in ways that are into images and sounds and smells and words that our brains can actually interpret and understand right and spirit is saying that through all of those things it's like a game of telephone you guys remember the game telephone about how like one person would think of a message and you would whisper it in the ear of the next person and you can only ever whisper it one time you know and that by the time that it got all the way down to the end of the row, you know, a lot of times the message would be something completely different or, you know, completely different than the original message that it started out as, you know, and that so spirit is saying like we are trying very hard to get a clear message of this to you, but it has to filter through your perception, through your mind. Which is why you always have to, when you are here and you are listening to someone channel tarot or channel something like that, your spirit guides say a message, but it has to filter through that person. And so sometimes the message can get distorted, like people's shadow or people's spirit guides or other people's, you know...